Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in my daggy dirty clothes because I am sharing with you my decorating and my organization hacks. So I'm actually just gonna take you around the house as I do some of these things. Now the best thing about these is that you may have some of these products at home so it might not even cost you a thing to do some of these and if it does cost you it's not going to break the bank some of these are also Kmart hacks as well if you are a Kmart person and love shopping at Kmart but before we get into the video I do want to mention that I have changed my name from family health and happiness to insta look interiors and it's going to stay that way it's just because this channel is all about home decorating and home organization and then we probably will throw a little bit of cleaning in there so I do want to incorporate a name that goes with that brand so if these are the kind of videos that you enjoy watching then please come along and subscribe to my channel I would love to have you so let's jump into the first hack so the first area I'm going to be working on is this niche in my bathroom I am not happy with it it looks like a cluttered mess it really needs to be decluttered and it needs a good clean but I need to deal with all this stuff that is in this side so I actually do need a lot of it apart from all those bazillion shavers there that I tend to just not throw out <laughs> but apart from that I really need to just deal with it and clean this up and get some sort of way of making it look nicer on a permanent basis so I'm just going to use this Kmart canister that I bought. It isn't the right height, so I will eventually, if I find something else, replace it for something that's a bit higher. But this here fits a niche and it's the best I can do at this point. So let's fix it up. So that is the end result. It is now all decluttered and cleaned up. And as I said, I will purchase a bigger canister when I find one that is high enough to hide everything. But that is pretty much what it looks like. If you're wondering why I have knit solution in there, I actually work with children. So I, when I get children in with knits, I do tend to wash my hair with knit solution if I know there's been lice around I just get paranoid you know how you get itchy hair so I'm missing Talia shampoo in there which I did test and it does all fit in there and it is pretty much the same height as the face cleaner so it's all going to fit in there nicely but that is what it looks like and I think that it looks a damn sight better the next decorating hack that I have for you is all about plants so I know that you guys have probably seen this plenty of times before this is not very well displayed because this pot is too big for the other one so you want to make sure that the pot is smaller than the pot that you've got on the outside and you want to replace the black plastic pot with a decorative pot or a decorative basket now the actual hack that I'm showing for you though is not this one I just thought that I'd mention it because it was in this so when this had pups on it. Yes, it did. My cat has actually eaten heaps of it off. This is all grown back. So it's grown back really, really well. But when it was bigger and it had pups on it, I actually took some of the pups off and I will show you what I'd done with them. So what I did do is I grabbed some of the pups off the plant that was in the bathroom and I put it in a cup of water and this is what happens it grows roots but you don't want to let the bottom of the plant in the water see how it's all going yucky like the leaves on it so you want to make sure it's just the bottom there and it grows roots and then you can replant it and you've got a whole new plant so I've just got another two plants here for the price of one so really I've got three plants for the price of one in saying this if you don't want these plants you could always pot them up, resell them, and then you could purchase more for yourself. Or you could swap them over with friends and then you have all new plants again. So that's a pretty good way to save some money on plants and also gain more plants if you do decide to plant swap or sell and use the money to buy other plants. So the next hack that I have for you is actually this piece lily that I have. 
Now, it has got some new growth, so it is kind of happy, but it's actually never flowered. It has not flowered since I've actually bought it. I fertilized it one year and then it grew mushrooms and it just wasn't happy. So I am actually going to plant this in water, believe it or not. I have been studying a little bit about some hydroponics and I really want to give it a go. And peace lilies apparently are really easy to transplant. So I just bought this fish bowl here from Kmart and I'm actually going to give this a go by transferring it into here. So it is a bit of a process, but I'm just going to quickly share with you a basic process. So the first step is going to be just getting your plant and removing all the soil from the plant. So I'm just going to push the edges like so. and transfer all the dirt into here. Then you just want to get off as much dirt as possible. Now you just want to grab your hose, so you really do want to have your hose on like a really high pressure setting. I don't really have one of those nozzle heads to make it like that, so I'm just gonna wing it. Now I have just removed all the soil from here, so I'm just gonna give it a bit of a clean out so I can soak my plant overnight. So I've got a bit of a flood going here and I got runners on. That was a silly idea, wasn't it? So you don't want to get the this part the stem of the plant in the water it's the same thing as like what I was saying before with the other plants it actually causes it to causes it to rot so we just want to make sure I might have to actually put it in something else but we just want to make sure that it's just the roots that are in there so this is the end result as you can see, the roots aren't actually all the way in the water, which is fine. As long as the roots are in the bottom of the water, then the plant will actually drink it. You can't get the stem in the water at all because it will rot. So that is one of the things. I actually think I'm going to transplant this one into a vase, to be honest. But this is what it looks like so far. So this will just give you an idea what you can do. Uh, this was only $10. So you might actually have a vase at home that you could do this with or you could even just grab some of your pups off some of your plants and do this in some of the vases that you've got at home. This next hack is for anybody who has something in their house that is a little bit ugly and they have some spare scrapbooking paper on hand. So, my daughter has this money tin and I love it. If you are a fan of the Barefoot Investor books, it's pretty much the same thing here. So you've got your spend, save and give and I really want to keep this but I don't like it it's ugly and I think that I can spruce it up a little bit just using some scrapbooking paper so that goes better with our color scheme and our decor result it's so hard to get you a really good picture because the lighting is so bad I've moved it around a few times and I'm still not having it so that is pretty much what it looks like and it looks so much better in my opinion anyway so I'm starting to lose daylight here so this is going to be the last one and I can't actually show you probably because I stuffed up the last thing so I'm just gonna quickly show you what I was going to do and this will still give you an idea of what you can do mind the dusty dirty drawer I have to clean that out too so the last hack is just to use scrapbooking paper 
in your drawers. So as I said, this is just an example because I stuffed up and used way too much scrapbooking paper in the end. But and you get the gist. So pop these back in and look at the inside of the drawer. It looks so pretty. I don't think I put them back in the same way as I had them but it doesn't matter. So it's just improves the inside of the drawer. It gives it that bit of pizzazz and um, a bit of excitement when you open the drawer. It's a bit different rather than just being plain white or wood or whatever color it is. So that is just an idea of what you can do with some scrapbooking paper around the house and some ideas that you can do around the house with things you might already have. Thank you all for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider subscribing if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. This really does help my small channel grow. I also do have a Facebook and Instagram page, which you can also catch me on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye.